What's going to be unique about this year? What's going to be unique about this year? First of all, we start with a big uh, boom, bomb, a big uh, event here in uh, the fourth season to raise money for the festival. We'll see if people uh, enjoy the luncheon and uh, I hope that it will be a big success. It was a big success. The turnout was overwhelming. We had 130 people just from Lionsgate, uh, Showtime, uh, CBS, YouTube, uh, Google, I mean CAA. CAA was kind of the in engine of this all event, almost. You, you introduced Fauda to yeah. the United States. You brought it here, Leo Raz, you brought it, now Adam Berkowitz, he, he put it together uh, internationally and you've honored it. Right? Yeah, I, I don't know if I, I wouldn't take the equity that, you know, I made a deal here. <laughs> no. But, but you showed it at the festival first. I showed it, yeah. So, you know, I show a lot of films. I showed a thousand Israeli films. So I don't know which one will be picked up and which one will be picked later and who's going to be a remake. Who knows? But that's the, that's the business that I'm doing is exposing, ex exposing, yeah. exposing Israeli films to the public yeah. here in Hollywood with the hope that somebody will pick up the film for distribution, yeah. uh, other organization will take it for screenings, uh, you know, a remake, an American remake. So, and I'm very happy with what the result was today. There's no question about it. But this year, the, you asked me the first question, uh, what's new and what we're going to do new this year, we're going to show television programming. Like Fauda, we did in the past. That's right, but more. Uh -huh. We're going to pick from all the television stations and make like a 20% television uh, programming. And also we'll have a panel discussion between American and Israeli professionals to talk about co-production of television and remake and, and, uh, and all this kind of television stuff because this is booming. There's no question about it. The television is doing very well, by the way. Cannes Film Festival, Toronto, Berlin is already showing television programming for the first time in the last year or two. So I thought that I'm doing something new for Israel for sure, but I thought I'm doing something for the world. No, somebody did it before me. It's okay, it's okay. You don't have to be the first one in the world. You don't have to be the first one here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, you honored Adam Berkowitz, he's yes. an agent at CAA. You right. had lots of other CAA people here. Do you suppose that it might inspire more uh, Israel representation in media deals? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. As a matter of fact, I even uh, a few years met a lawyer. They told me that the festival, they sign up more Israelis to their company as a law firm mm -hmm. than any festival here in Los Angeles, any, doesn't matter, AFI, Los Angeles Film Festival, they sign through the festival so many Israelis to come, they are coming to the festival, they almost sign everybody to be, to represent them as a law firm. I'm sure that that's what's happening also, and now if we show TV and do a, a little competition between the Israeli television station, mm -hmm. more people wanted to see and then it's going to be exciting. I think it's great. You had Max Webb, you had a very emotional moment with Max Webb. Yes, I had. A little bit too much emotional. <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking? Uh, two things came up. First of all, my father, if he was alive, let him rest in peace, quietly. Uh, he was 113 years old. 113 He years. lived to 113? No. He's already dead, 26. Oh, oh, oh. He lived to 87. He was in, he was in Majdanek, in Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. He was where he was, but mm -hmm. he was even in a worse, in a death camp. Yeah. It was like few death camps in, in the Holocaust, that every day a thousand people got killed. Every day. Every day a thousand are going to work, and thousand going to kill, then another thousand come, and every day they, you know. So he was lucky, he survived it. I don't know how. So if he survived it, you know, for me, you know, I'm blessed mm -hmm. because, you know why I'm blessed? What? Because, because I don't think there's many people in the world that can show you a photo that my father is 113 and his grandson is a year and a half. Right? 113 years, 
He, when he is 111, he has a new grandson. 111, not alive, but the gap is so big because after the Holocaust, he was kind of an older. He already had a family and two kids in 1939. He had, in 1939, he has kids in my the kids of my age, 10 and a half and uh, 12 and a half. Do you feel that Hollywood is doing a good enough job in representing Israel's situation from Hollywood? In which way? Right now, I TV, think... TV, movies? TV, no, I think, yeah, I think right now things are getting better from day to day. You know, Israeli films will open right now in Los Angeles. Right now in Israeli film that we open the festival, Women's Balkan is running right now in theaters. And it's going to be every maybe couple of months an Israeli film will open and good Israeli films. So I think people are getting the message. Israeli films, not all of them, are pretty good. Let's go and see them. There are foreign films, the subtitles, but they are good. How about a word about Max Webb? Max Webb. Uh, no, I, 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 I asked me why I got so excited. Yeah. Uh, because about 15 years ago, I got an award at the satellite uh, something, uh, the kind of the Golden Globe, a, a different version of the Golden Globe. And I, they honored me, and I didn't have anybody to present the award. And I was walking the Hyatt Hotel, and I was looking for somebody to present me the award. I mean, in, in a half an hour, in an hour, I have to go on stage where I'm going to present myself the award. So suddenly I saw uh, Branko Lustig. You know, it's Branko Lustig. He's the producer Lustig. of uh, Schindler's List. So I asked him, uh, Branko, are you you're presenting the award for best film, right? He said, yes, I need a favor from you. I'm being honored tonight. And I really would like, as a second generation, to receive an award from a first generation. And he said, I'll do it. And he came on stage and he said, from a first generation to a second generation. And here, I did the opposite, from a second to a first. So I got moved. I'm getting again. So it, it, was, it was good. <laughs>